will either send shivers down your spine or perk your curiosity. A bizarre creature has been found in a northern Ontario community. According to the official website of the Big Trout Lake community, two nurses found this creature when their dog pulled it out of the water. The animal is about 30 centimeters long, partially bald, and has large teeth. So what is it? For more, we're joined by Daryl Sainawap. He is a council member for the First Nations, and he joins us now on the line from Big Trout Lake. Daryl, what is this thing? Uh, that's a good question. <laughs> uh, I'm just as surprised and uh, curious as everyone else here. So you don't know what it is? I am not aware. never seen the, the creature myself, or nor has my grandfather or most of the, the community. Really? So I thought I heard some reports that, you know, there are at least stories of something like this, uh, you know, arriving or washing up before. Yeah, well, there's this there's one uh, person who came forward. He's about a uh, man in his six, he's about 65 years old, which happens to be my uh, great uncle. Uh -huh. He did mention that in his younger days, that uh, while well, he was out with his grandfather, he had seen this creature. But uh, his grandfather mentioned to him that it lives in swampy creek areas and that it feeds on beavers. Keep in mind that was about uh, 60 years ago. Hmm. Yes. Um, now, how did they encounter this thing? Uh, they just saw it. I guess they might have been canoeing at that time. Yeah. Did they get close to it? I mean, how are they so sure it's the same kind of creature? Uh, that's just uh, based on the pictures and what he saw. I guess that's what came to, uh, from his memory. So. Right. But we know that you know many do consider this creature, whatever it is, a bad omen. Is that true? Yes, it is believed that uh, some elders have said that it uh, may be a messenger for bad news. So, how so? How, how, how is that sort of derived from, from this creature being found in the water? Well, it's just that it's very rare and nobody's seen it. And by the way that it looks, uh, I believe that's the information, or that's what they gather, that it may be a bad omen. So let me ask, I mean, I think you said it was a family member who originally many years ago thought he saw something in the water, in the swampy water. Yes. Did it look exactly like this? Because as you know, there are some who say, well, this may be, you know, um, an otter, a beaver, it could be a baby bear. Uh, maybe there's some partial decomposition there that's altered the look of this thing. Um, what do you think? Well, that's, uh, uh, like I said, I've only seen the pictures uh, myself, so I know as much as you do. Yeah, but the family member who said he saw something in, in the swampy waters years ago, did he say it looked exactly like this, or does this look like something that's been through some stages of decomposition? I believe he said it looks similar, and that's the closest uh, explanation that he could give. Right. Yes. So what, what does your community do with this thing now? Well, the, after the nurse had seen this uh, creature, uh, after he washed ashore, all he did was take pictures because I believed he thought it was a common, uh, common animal for the area. Mm -hmm. So he took the pictures and also when I spoke with him, he didn't take it because of the odor coming from the animal. Right. You know, so, yeah. But he did say uh, he, does, he still has the original photos and that it's not a hoax. So just quickly, what, what happens now? Is this a story that you'll pass down to your kids or what? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Quite a story and one with many questions still. Daryl Sainawap joining us from Big Trout Lake. Thank you so much. All right, thank you.